What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's your boy, Sport, Sports, Religion, Politics here. And um, I just want to talk about um, last night's fight between Jamel Charlo and uh, Monty, uh, Montiel. Let um, me keep it real. Uh, so all I know how to do. I like uh, Jamal Charlo. I'm not a big fan of his brother, Jamel. Uh, Jamel, he's just more ghetto, you know. He glorifies the worst of black culture, you know. And um, it's just distasteful, um, just ghetto, just ghetto. Uh, I, I, Jamal's a little more, like, refined. You know, I, I, I can sit and, and listen to him talk and... You know, I could, you know, he's he's just cooler. Uh, now, last night's fight, I gotta keep it real. Um, <laughs> with a performance like that, you know, he he did good. He did good, Jamal. He did good. But when you're fighting the top guys, that's not gonna cut it. That's not gonna cut it. And the guy he fought is not considered on Andrade's level, Canelo's level, Triple G's level. So, you know, you got to ask your questions. You know, like, there's glaring holes in um, Jamal Charlo's game, you know. And if I was him, I'd avoid Demetrius Andrade like the plague, you know. Because um, it's just a bad matchup. Bad ma Everybody that fights Andrade looks awful fight fighting him his ain't his angles he sets traps and pitfalls all throughout the ring he he just makes you step into landmines and, and hits you with big southpaw left hands straights hooks he's like an octopus he's like he's got eight arms it's just a, a disaster waiting to happen if i was jamal stay away from demetrius andre Stay away from that guy. Do not fight him. His, your brother as well. You guys have a similar style. Your brother, brother's aggressive too, you know, but even him. Stay away from uh, Andre. Andre. Boo-boo is exactly that. Boo. A ghost for you guys. Don't fight him. Um, Canelo. If I was Canelo, I'd be licking my chops. But like, yeah, I'll fight Charlo. Because the way you fought last night, you can't beat Canelo fighting like that. You're not going to beat Canelo fighting like that. I mean, you know that. I know that. You know, it's, it's just bad. It's bad. Um, I mean, I don't really uh, have too much else to, to say about the situation. But uh, it's, it's just... Avoid, avoid boo boo. Okay. And um, a another thing about Andre that I've noticed, um, there's a lot of boxers. You know, when they're being interviewed and his name gets brought up, there's nothing but respect. Um, the only people that don't have respect when they talk about Andre is the people that have to fight Andre, like Canelo, like uh, Charlos. But everybody else, Benavidez, David Benavidez, um, um, uh, what's his name? Austin Trout, you know, um, Terrence Crawford, um, Keith Thurman, uh, Sean Porter, um, all these guys. When Boo Boo's name is brought up, Demetrius Andre's name is brought up, it's very, they speak highly on a, on, a, on a level like real recognized, real, like that guy's the goods, you know. So, you guys can sleep all you want, you know, but uh, your favorite fighters are gonna have to fight these guys, fight that guy. So, you know, if he if he was so trash, a horrible fighter or whatever, like uh, Canelo said, if he was horrible, guess what? He wouldn't have a championship. Because if someone's not good, if someone's not good, you know what you do? You beat them up and you take their belt. Easy belt. He's got a major belt and he's not a good and he's a horrible fighter. Unquote. 
supposedly a horrible fighter. If he was a horrible fighter and he had a belt, Charlo would have took it. Canelo would have took it. All of these guys would have took that belt. So if they haven't taken a belt, that should tell you something. Okay? Signing off. Uh, SRP, Sports, Religion, Politics. Let me know what you think, people. And uh, it's good to be back.